Good evening, cinephiles and cineasts of YouTube. I'm Bill Robertson. Welcome to another edition of Free Films on YouTube. Tonight, I'm going to bring you The Old Dark House. Dark House is a universal release from 1932. It follows in the wake of Dracula and Frankenstein, which came out the year before, and set the pace for the Universal Studios monster movie, Boom. <clears throat> this movie, while not a monster movie, is still half a horror movie. It's uh, directed by James Whale who the year before had directed Frankenstein. And like Frankenstein, it also stars Boris Karloff. Boris Karloff plays a very similar part in the old dark house to the Frankenstein monster, only now he is a butler who is mute, his face is horribly scarred, and he's very hard to recognize once again. The movie nearly perished back in the 1960s, but it was saved by a director by the name of Curtis Harrington. He was a big fan of the movie and a good friend of the director, James Whale, and he hounded Universal until they found a copy in one of their warehouses and managed to get it restored at Kodak Eastman before the film completely degenerated into a pile of dust. We owe Mr. Harrington a big thank you. The Old Dark House essentially sets, sets the pattern that almost every single haunted house movie ever since has followed. A group of people are stranded in an old mansion by invite or by sheer bad luck and while they're stranded there for the night bad things happen sounds like the plot to just about any haunted house movie you've ever seen i'm sure and this is the one that started it all this movie was not an original story it was based on a short novel by the name of the benighted by J.B. Priestley. The book was written in 1927 in Britain and was published in the United States as The Old Dark House. The director, James Whale, who's also English, selected this book to be uh, the basis for his follow-up to Frankenstein. He had the run of Universal Studios pretty much after Frankenstein because Frankenstein made the studio so much money. He chose this book and adapted it and made this fantastic haunted house, not a haunted house, spooky dark old house movie. It is basically a story of some travelers traveling through the Welsh countryside at night in a rainstorm the rainstorm gets out of hand and they end up stranded at the only place for miles where there's any shelter, the old dark house. The old dark house is owned by some old family. They're very odd and strange and set up the, uh, the uh, scares to come. Now this movie is basically a comedy horror. Some of the humor I think is a little lost to time. I can see where the humor was though. It's very dated. I'm a huge fan of Arsenic and Old Lace. This movie seems to be an early predecessor to that and a funny connection to Arsenic and Old Lace. Raymond Massey, who plays the uh, older brother who's a mobster in Arsenic and Old Lace, he is uh, considered by many to look like Frankenstein because he's had so many operations on his face to evade the law. And Raymond Massey is also in The Old Dark House. This is an early role for him. In Arsenic and Old Lace, that movie was based on a, a stage play. 
a very popular stage play before it was a film. In the stage play, Raymond Massey's part was played by Boris Karloff. Boris Karloff was supposed to play the role in Arsenic and Old Lace, but since the play was still running or he had other contractual agreements, he was unable to take the part in the Arsenic and Old Lace film. Raymond Massey was chosen to take his place and wore a lot of makeup in order to make him look like Boris Karloff. Now cut back to 1932 in the old dark house and Raymond Massey in one of his first roles gets to play with Boris Karloff and the two have a great fight scene in the middle of the movie and it's just kind of a weird coincidence that those two are in the movie those two are both involved in Arsenic and Old Lace and Arsenic and Old Lace's plot feel situation seem to echo that of the old dark house the novel that it was based on the benighted I believe was is widely thought to be a study of post World War One Britain. The old dark house is owned by an old wealthy family, with all of their terrible secrets. Uh, there's a lot of allusion to the family being very uh, sinful, debaucherous. In my opinion, Boris Karloff's character is the incestual child of one of the uh, family members, one of the cast, one of the characters who shows up later on. And some of the, some of the uh, siblings died when they were young and there was a lot of partying at this house back in the day. Basically it seems like an old aristocracy, big money, and they were allowed to do whatever they wanted to do because of their wealth and that just led to all sorts of terrible things happening like i said incest is implied one of the characters is claims he's wanted by the police and the morgan the butler played by boris karloff the whole house is afraid of him getting drunk because then he will probably fly off the handle into a murderous rage. But uh, it has a happy ending. There's only one death. It's not very scary, but it is very creepy. Lots of shadows and dark hallways and stairways and many surprises before you get to the end of the movie. It's only an hour and ten minutes long, but uh, a great watch. There's an excellent Blu-ray release that came out just recently. I believe Cohen Media put out the Blu-ray release with some great special features. Uh, another interesting uh, tidbit is that Gloria Stewart, uh, this was one of her very, very first roles. She plays one of the travelers that ends up at the old dark house to spend the night and take shelter from the storm. She plays Old Rose in the movie Titanic. And the reason that she got the part in Titanic was because James Cameron, who wrote and directed Titanic, heard her commentary on the DVD for The Old Dark House and thought she was great and cast her in Titanic as Old Rose. So there's so many things, like I could probably go on forever talking about the trivia and the interesting asides that uh, have to do with The Old Dark House, but I better shut up now. I've gone on for long enough. I'm going to leave a link down below to uh, the, uh, the video that you can watch right here on YouTube of The Old Dark House. The video is actually uh, an hour and 28 minutes long, so there's an additional 15 minutes beyond the end of the movie where the, uh, the channel owner tacked on uh, some special features from the DVD. There's an interview with Curtis Harrington where he talks about how he restored the film and how he was friends with the director, James Whale. And then there is also some stills from the film, some production stills, some behind-the-scenes behind stills. So this, uh, this video is, is excellent. The picture's pretty good. The sound's pretty good. Uh, apparently the Blu-ray release, the picture's excellent, the sound's still just decent, but uh, yeah, this, this link that I'm leaving down below will uh, should satisfy everyone who just wants to check out the movie 
and uh, learn a little bit about it by sticking around afterwards to watch the interview and see the stills. And before I let you go, I just want to let you know that if you are a filmmaker, a YouTube filmmaker, amateur, and you would like your film reviewed by me, please send it my way and I will do so. Please keep your eyes open. My friend Russell and I are going to be doing a new show where we analyze some movies and TV shows called Latecomer. It's about uh, f film and TV that uh, I've always been meaning to see, but uh, have just uh, recently gotten around to seeing it. So keep your eyes open for that soon. Please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of the old dark house. And again, I'm Bill Robertson, and I'll see you next time. Good night. Retract. Retract. You've got to go.